your majesty. I would have you elevate a protege of mine who has been protege and good friend for 20 years to the order of the pelican. Let all members of the Order of the Pelican here present, by order of their majesties, come now before the thrones of Antir. another for consideration. What is the name of the candidate? The Honorable Lady Rishenda Dujardin. Let Rishenda Dujardin approach the throne. arrived in our kingdom. And what has impressed me most has been the depth of her service. From her local barony, serving as Bruno Herald and Minister of Arts and Sciences, and cooking full feasts, which were delicious, <laughs> to her kingdom office, which she has held, a kingdom office in the heraldry, since she arrived. I looked it up. You joined, you joined Antir in 2003. You started your first kingdom office in 2003. <laughs> where she is now currently Black Lion. To her service to the society, 
in the heraldry arts. She has been an amazement to me, and I am very privileged to be here this day. Your Majesties, I would speak to the length of her service. I have known this lady for 20 years. I knew her when she was Minister of Youth for the Kingdom of Athelmark, when she served with such joy and vigor. I have known her when she was in the mid realm, and she served there as well. And to my great Sorrow, since she moved to Ontario and I was stuck on the East Coast, I have known her long distance and known of her service since then. She is indeed the long working, hard working woman that Master Ulrich spoke of, and it has been long and long that she has been my peer. <laughs> She is so amazing that the lights go out. <laughs> <laughs> the light. Master Mark, in our group. While I would be honored to speak for her, I bring words from one who has known her far longer than I am honored to. Bear with me. Hail, on tier, I, Ithan Dalkai, bring word of Rashenda. Using untold sorceries of Elmer, I will speak of my awe in the light of her inspiration. Between the war and Ontier's name in far off Pentic, I encountered Rashenda. While many visit the rainy lands, the middle for tournament, drink, and lustful vacationing, Rashenda toiled from sunup until moon's gaze, serving the populace of the known world day after day. Many flock to Penzik to seek approval of arms, and the steadfast service of the heraldic staff make even this stout and mighty body I now wear shake my head in awe and the respect that the service provided. It is a good reminder that we as peers are not simply peers within the kingdom we are elevated in, but peers of the <coughs> entire society. Roshenda has shown her dedication to, the ser to service to the society, and I cannot imagine a more dedicated servant of our people. So I raise my fist to the sky, where I shall leave it until it falls off and cry out, Rashenda, I heartily commend thee. Peerage is recognized by the crown as is rightful and true, but it also lives on not just in our kingdom, but across the land, and is known by this service, which it inspires and sees continue. Uh, 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 I am the Elspeth on the road, companion of Helen, and Laurel of the Kingdom of Avalon. And I always try to sing. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> the Order of the Rose is particularly, is particularly charged, and that is the gentle and graceful arts, the encouragement of courtesy, and the fostering of the greed that we all share. I have seen Rishenda under circumstances that would make uh, Sir Nathan absolutely have his fist falling off. <laughs> it is true that work at the Pensick consult table, at any consult table, particularly at Pensick, is extremely taxing. Uh, 
but it's not difficult for senior heralding staff to spend eight to ten or more hours a day at this job. Hundreds and hundreds of submissions are handled. It's hot. We're hungry. We're thirsty. We want to go out and play. But there's a job to be done. And under these circumstances, I have seen Rashenda perform in so extremely collected a way. I have seen her comport herself under stress, in difficulty, dealing with sometimes potentially difficult people. And what's more, I have seen this ability grow over the years that I have known her, which have been since she moved to Montier, so 12 years now. So this is nothing that I've just noticed. This is a long and wonderful progression of a great lady. And I'm very pleased to have her be inducted into the Order of the Pelican. Your Majesties, Your Highnesses, my name is Tanzos Ishvan. I am a member of the Order of the Pelican in the East Kingdom. I have come here today to speak for this woman. I am here to represent the College of Arms of the Society. I have known Rashenda for over 15 years. I, too, am one of the people involved in making Harold's Point of Penzik run. I have been a peer now for six years. This woman has served longer, harder, more consistently, and with much more grace than I ever have. This woman is my peer. Thank you for recognizing that today. I have known you since Viking ages. Here you are, grown to be a fine to your lady. <laughs> you are my peer. You are no longer worthy of being my protege. You must now be my friend only. And that I count on. Rashenda Dujardin, well pleased with your continued efforts for the and intelligent service to this our kingdom. You write by and mindful of the wishes of your peers. We are minded to create you a companion of the Order of the Pelican. Will you accept from us this honor? And will you swear to uphold the rights and responsibilities of this order? Then will you, Rashenda Dujardin, Give your word to continue to fulfill the requirements set forth for the governance of this order, as you most surely have until now, to increase your labors nobly, to nourish your talents as befits a noble, and to seek to disseminate your talents and abilities throughout the kingdoms of the known world as far as is within your powers. Bring forth the medallion. <laughs> and I apologize, this is long. <laughs> the medallion was created in AS 26 by Erasmus Lostansiaski, Dictus Rayray, White Stag, Principal Herald, Emeritus for the Outlands, who also created the Laurel Crown. In AS 26, it was delivered by Martin Broker, Palincest, Herald Emeritus, to Arpo Benincourt, Brigantia, Principal Herald Emeritus. Master Arvel passed the medallion to Allison McDermott, Badger Herald Emeritus for the East, who passed it to Elspeth and Roth, Laurel Sargon of Arms, America. From Dane Elspeth, the medallion went to Johan Piso, Edelweiss Herald Emeritus for Drakenbaum, who passed it to Margaret McAfee, Pelican Queen of Arms America, and who passed it to Mary Elspeth McBride, Pelican 
Queen of Arms America, Mistress Mari, pass the medallion to Edmund Florio, Brief King of Arms Emeritus, pass to Ivis Lid, Barnet Herald of Ethelmark, Emerita, who then passed it to Owen at Morgan, <laughs> for the West. Master Owen passed the medallion to Tangelo Sistvan, Brief King of Arms Emeritus, who passed it to Jean-Marie Lacroix, Brief Queen of Arms Emerita, who passed it to Cormac Moore, present Principal Herald of Cayenne. Master Cormac then gave it to Marie Dubois, Palisest and Clarion Herald, and White Stag, Principal Herald Emeritus of the Athens. Mistress Mary, pass the medallion to me, Don Lilia DeVoe, Pelican Queen of Arms. It was also worn for a time by Master Andrew Baldwin, Laurel King of Arms, before it returned to me. And it is with pleasure that I now give the medallion to Rochelle de Chardin. Shenda and go to your peers. For the new pelican! Hip hip! Huzzah! 